Okay, first question. Give a single noun to replace the following phrase. A person who has reached the age of 100. Anybody have any ideas? Sure. Very old man. <laughs> That's not right. She, hombre, 100 year old. Very old man. Now, we want one word for someone who's at 100. Ah. Oh, blimey. I'm doing that. Farouk. What is Farouk? Uh -huh. My uncle. He's being a hundred years old. That is not being the answer, you tandoori tweet. <laughs> All right, you Punjabi prawn. You tell us the answer. Centurion. Well, that sounds okay to me. Okay, okay. Everybody put down Centurion. Centurion. <laughs> Next the question. All right. Give the past tense and the past participle of the following verbs. Cling. Clunk. <laughs> that's right, come. But that's the past tense. Now we want the past possible. Cling, clung, clang. <laughs> that's right. Oh, blimey. Mr. Brown will be surprised when he finds out how clever we are. <laughs> Next question. Past tense and past participle of the word fly. Flood. <laughs> no, no, not the flood. Flyed. <laughs> that's better. Flight. We want one more. We get fly, flied, flied. <laughs> okay. Hey, we must do the homework like this every time, huh? And the next <laughs> question. Give opposite in meaning to following nouns. Disappointment. That appointment. <laughs> We're still respectful. The opposite of uh, disappointment is uh, joy. Uh, Okey Tokyo. Can I have some milk, please, Gladys? Sure. Hey, Daniel, what you got in the pram? A bag of the potatoes. Eh, <laughs> no potatoes, bambino. Oh. Hello, bambino. <laughs> hey, he speak to me. <laughs> eh, nice little boy. How are you knowing he's a little boy? Easy. He's got what every little boy has. Blue clothes. <laughs> <laughs> Here, is it yours? No, it belongs to the family I work as au pair. Oh. They had to go out tonight, so I thought I'd bring him here to the lessons. Oh, you can't do that. Why not? Well, it's against regulations. Oh, Miss Courtney would never allow it. Are you sure? I'm positive. But what am I going to do? I don't want to miss my classes. Well, I'll tell you what I'll do. You can leave him here behind my counter and collect him when you go home. Thank you, Gladys. Oh, don't mention it. <laughs> See you later, boys. <laughs> Holy ravioli. <laughs> For what I'm thinking now, I could be excommunicated. I was excommunicated five minutes ago. <laughs> a collective noun to describe a group of footballers. Uh, Real Madrid. <laughs> that is no good answer. The correct answer is a team. Hey, that's right. Team. Yeah. <laughs> Who said that? I did. <laughs> whoops a daisy Hey, how long have you been here? Long enough. Look, homework means work you do at home, individually, not here collectively. As you obviously cannot be trusted, you'll all stay behind after class and do your homework then. Oh. Now, come along, down to the class. Now then, what about a nice smile now for your then. auntie Glad? Oh, you know you're a lovely fella. <laughs> I say, Gladys is going to tickle your tummy. <laughs> Here, give us a nice kiss. <laughs> Hello, Sid. Gladys, look, what you do is your own affair, but I shouldn't let Miss Courtney catch you at it. No? What do you mean? I heard you. Oh, I'm doing it as a favour. <laughs> Here. <laughs> Want to tickle his tummy? Beg your pardon? Tickle his tummy. He likes it. Look. Oh! It's a saucepan lid. <laughs> a little nipper. It, it's Danielle's. I'm looking after it for her. Yeah? Good night. He's a lovely little fella. <laughs> How are you then? <laughs> goody, goody, goody. Goody. I... He bit me. How long have you gone? 
places, please. Uh, uh, quick as possible. Uh, thank you, one. Right, now that we've lost Zoltan and Ingrid, uh, I suggest we fill up these empty places. Jamila, would you like to come back to the front? No, Master G. I am very happy to be sit at backside. <laughs> Taro? Japanese philosophers say, a person who is in front, Lionel, more likely to get home, shot at. <laughs> ah, so. <laughs> Ali and Suli, why don't you come out here then, all right? Jelly good. <laughs>